Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, it's another beautiful day here in North Carolina on the farm. We're gonna get back started on the service truck. Um, I wanna say up front, I talked about in the video where we got it in the shop that I wasn't gonna bore you guys with a bunch of wrench turning videos, but I've been thinking about it. And there might be somebody else out there that's interested in a little bit of this that I'm doing as far as uh, conversion later on. Maybe it's not farm related, maybe somebody else just looking for it. So I wanna say up front, if you guys aren't interested in this, you know, I totally understand you can skip through it. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this video, but I'm going to try to do a lot more hands-on, if you will, and explain a few things here or there. It might get a little bit lengthy, I don't know, but we've already decided to uh, just dive into the truck and go ahead and swap it over to four-wheel drive. So basically, this is going to be the conversion from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive on a 2000 Ford F-250 Super Duty 5.4 liter. I'll show you the truck, the donor truck here, if you're new to the channel, explain a little bit about it, and we'll go from there okay real quick here's the donor truck 2004 ford f-250 super duty four-wheel drive 5.4 liter gas automatic transmission good running truck less than 130,000 miles but it is a rust bucket it's completely gone the only good things on it really are the hood and the glass and some of the interior parts everything else is just rusted beyond uh safety factor so this truck will donate the transfer case the front axle and leaf springs possibly the rear axle i'm hoping that the gear is the same in the two-wheel drive and of course the transmission transfer case and on that note what i'm probably going to do is set the other service truck on the four-wheel drive suspension and leave the two-wheel drive transmission in it for right now i will eventually swap it out to this one that transmission other truck is almost new and I will find another case and have the tail shaft swapped over to that and put it in the two wheel drive one. So a little bit of insight here if you're new to the channel. Like I said, bought both of these and I'm doing now what I set out to do a long time ago. So I'm going to try to bring you along for a little bit of it. We've already got one side of the front end out. I'm going to try to explain the other side and uh, tell you what all is involved in this conversion on these year model trucks. Okay, we're going to try this. Uh, working and talking like I said it's probably gonna get long uh, first thing you want to do is get the uh, brake lines loose I'm gonna pull the caliper off of the rotor separate uh, the four-wheel drive requires a longer brake hose uh, they're cheap so I'm gonna put new ones on it I'm just getting the line loose here at the frame mount and uh, once we get the brake line loose then We'll go ahead and pull the caliper off. Once I get the caliper out of the way, then we'll uh, get the shock loose and let the suspension down so there's no tension on the coil spring and take the holder off up here on the coil spring. It'll fall out. I'm not taking it loose from down here. I'm leaving the coil spring on the suspension and we'll pull this whole unit out as one, the wishbone twin I-beam up front and then the bracket back here. Once you get all the suspension parts out of the way, then the next step is the shock towers and coil spring towers have to come off and they're on with uh, factory pop rivets or rivets I guess you'll say not pop rivets but <clears throat> so I'm probably end up just going to grind the heads off of them or take an air chisel and knock those out we'll have to use the uh, shock towers off the four-wheel drive truck and then back here right now all I'm doing is taking the uh, uh, rear control arm loose from the bracket once i get all this out of the way then i can go under there and pull the bracket loose and as we go along i'll explain everything on this conversion is direct bolt on um, you can do it buying the parts but it's better to do it like i'm doing it so i've got a complete donor system on the other truck but each step of the way i'll try to explain a little bit about what's needed uh, what goes where so let me put you on a little bit of time lapse while i get some of this loose bring you back uh, tell you a little bit about what I had to do and we'll go from there. the brake caliper and bracket off I took it all off as one so the caliper bracket is off got the shock off uh, the coil spring is loose now just to hold her up there just always be careful when you're messing with coil springs 
I jacked it up, took the weight off of it, uh, pulled the shock loose, let it down to where the spring was holding it, took the bracket loose, just popped the top out with a uh, wrench. And the reason I left the bottom in is because this can't fly out for any reason. So uh, now we're gonna get out of the truck and take the twin eye beam up front on the bracket loose and take the one on the back and a whole assembly right here should drop down. Okay, that's loose. Okay, we got these two bolts out. We got the third one out here and there's one more right up here on the top. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but uh, it's a uh, 15 millimeter. Just take that loose. I better put a nut back on here just in case something were to, uh, there's no tension on it at all, but I don't want anything dropping down on me. So we're gonna put that nut back on there so it can't fall out. We'll get this one out. I'll bring you back when we get finished. Okay, get everything out of the way. We're gonna give it a little pry with the pry bar and it should drop to the floor, hopefully. Well good, it didn't go to the floor, but the I-beam there is loose now. So let's move to the back. Okay, we're back on the rear trailing arm, if you will. We're gonna pull the one bolt out and then drop the whole assembly down. I guess I could get my tools ready off camera. I don't do everything all proper, but I'll put the nut back on until it lines up with the end of the bolt. If I can find my hammer and just tap it out. Shake it, make sure it doesn't have any tension on it. Which it doesn't. So I'm gonna move everything here and situate it, knock the bolt out and I'll bring you back when we lower it down and everything will be out from the front end. All right, hopefully you guys can see. Um, just kind of keep a hand on it, stay out of the way, make sure, you know, nothing's gonna fall. It's gonna kind of come down kitty wampus, if you will. There I go, I said it right that time. All right, that's close enough to the ground. Now we can take the pry bar and pry this back arm down. And that is the removal of twin I-beam forward front suspension on an F-250. I'll try to do the best I can here showing you on the donor truck. Uh, here's the shock tower. You see how much smaller it is behind the shock there. Um, that's all it holds, don't have the coil spring. So like I said, I've got to uh, chisel those rivets off. And then down front here, let me get you a better shot. Um, this piece is a bar that goes all the way across the front. It's your front leaf spring hangers and it bolts up on the end of the frame. Like I said, all the bolt holes are already there. Um, so I have to unbolt that of course. And then uh, the rear leaf spring uh, brackets, I'll show you about that um, on the other truck here in a second. But the cross member, the engine cradle cross member, we did not have to, uh, we, nothing bolts back to that. Let me take you around the other side here. Okay, this one's a little worse for wear. Overlook all the rust. Um, the front, I guess you consider track bar. Um, bolts to the frame over here. Uh, the holes are in the frame on the two wheel drive. Again, I reiterate all this is a direct bolt on. There's no fabrication. If you have a donor truck, this bracket will bolt up. Uh, the rear 
sway bar uh, on four-wheel drive is behind the differential um, it bolts to brackets on the frame back there uh, so I'll show you on the two-wheel drive uh, where all this stuff goes it's a little cleaner of course um, but this front end is in good shape I uh, had new ball joints put in it uh, new rotors new calipers new brake pads uh, pinion doesn't leak uh, it's really tight all the tie rods are good and tight I think the uh, outer ones here have been changed uh, the pitman arm has to be changed from a two-wheel drive to a four-wheel drive I think I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase a new one of those this one's pretty rusty so uh, let's go back down here and I'll show you where all this stuff goes on the other truck okay we'll start up front here first uh, three bolts here and then two bolt holes here that's where that uh, front bar that goes down that I showed you on the other truck uh, that unbolts and bolts up here and that's your front uh, leaf spring hanger for the four-wheel drive front end so let me show you the back here okay here is the bracket for the uh, trailing arm we just pulled off take these bolts off there's three here I think there's three on the underside this will come off um, this hole right here in the frame is where the rear of the leaf spring bolts up it's got kind of a little bracket if you will that goes in here uh, you can still purchase these uh, aftermarket or through Ford I'm gonna go with the aftermarket ones uh, the bolts do that truck being so rusty are really rusty and this is kind of like a cast piece so um, they're a little expensive I think you can get a set of them for around $130 but anyway they just bolt right here and then your hanger goes up and then your leaf spring so I'll show you up here um, right here are the two bolt holes for the uh, track bar like I was saying and then I want to say sorry about that this bolt hole right here is where the rear uh, sway bar goes so like I said all of it is direct bolt in uh, there'll be nothing back on the center cross member uh, where the twin eye being bolted up here so once we get the uh, shock towers off and get these rear brackets off um, and the uh, two-wheel drive pitman arm I think everything will be off of this truck ready for the donor parts off the other one okay everybody we're gonna wrap this one up and call it a video uh, if you're a normal viewer of my channel and you're still here I really appreciate that I'm not sure how much interest from you guys it'll be on this particular series there's not a lot of information about this uh, particular swap on this era of trucks out there on YouTube so I thought I'm gonna be doing it why not capture it so we're gonna put the videos out um, I'm gonna keep this particular series on the conversion all about the axle swap what it takes to do it um, what parts and pieces you need to make it complete and then we'll do the uh, other series on the truck motor here what I have to do to it putting the rods and mains in while the engines in the truck so hopefully when this truck rolls out of the shop it will have new rods and main bearings in the motor new power steering pump new fuel pump and it'll be four-wheel drive I'll explain a little bit more about the transmission situation that I said in the beginning of this video as we go along but you know just got to take the bull by the horn sometimes and do it there was no need in putting all this time and effort into this truck uh, just putting the engine bearings in and not going ahead and do this while it's in here I'm running out of time you know it slips by day by day so the more projects I can check off the better off I am hopefully you enjoyed it um, if you just came across this video and search for something if you've got any questions don't feel you know don't hesitate at all to drop them down in the comments um, I'll answer the best I can I've done this kind of work all my life it's not that bad really um, you don't have to have a huge mechanical mindset to tackle something like this you can do it in your driveway there's no special tools so I'll try to detail as much as I possibly can for you um, showed you today what it took to get the twin eye beam suspension out uh, did the other side the other day off camera pretty much uh, identical one side or the other so we've got it down to the bare bones other than the shock towers thank you all for watching please consider subscribing if you hadn't already Hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see. It does help the channel out quite a bit. Thumbs down. I understand it's not for everybody. Share these videos. Get them out there. Might be somebody else interested in a little bit of this. Especially on this conversion. Like I said, there's not a lot out there. So might be somebody else considering that really wants a uh, tutorial on maybe what not to do or what to do. So far, it's going pretty good. Until next time. Thank you.